Hey there. My name is Sarah Jackson, aka Black Puddle. I want to tell you the story of how my life got ruined by those two idiots. Before we get started, please do God a favor and like and subscribe. First of all, I've got married to RJ Melvins. RJ was the general manager at his father's company. While I worked as a security guard, Junior was charming, intelligent, dependable, and cool. And I was glad I ended up with a guy like him. Until she waltzed in and took away my happiness. A little background check about this insanely gorgeous woman right here. Her name is Ruby Strand, alias Pinky Toe, and she was my lifelong best friend. She would turn heads no matter where she goes. She's always dependent on her beauty when it comes to getting or doing whatever she wants, whenever she wants. So basically, she was the queen bee. Her favorite pastime is plundering other people's boyfriends. So she's no stranger to having affairs. In fact, it became a hobby to her. Heck, one time, she even stole boyfriends from her younger sisters, Diamond and Pearl, just to piss them off. What's theirs is mine after all. She would often talk to me about it whenever we meet for coffee. And by talk, I mean brag. I used to think that there are nothing but stories about strangers. A year and three quarters after marrying Junior, I remembered him being absent for an entire night. I was getting worried sick, so I called him. But on the other end of the phone, I heard Ruby's voice instead of Junior's. Hey Black Puddle, don't be mad girl. What happened, Pinky Toe? Me and Junior are together. WTF? Why? Oh golly gee, am I the Wicked Witch of the West? What the heck are you implying? And where are you guys right now? Oh wait, let me guess. You guys are at a hotel, right? Not this time. Then you two were out clubbing. Sweetie, you know that I only go clubbing on weekends and holidays. We're actually at my house, and in my room. And that's all you need to hear. Why is RJ in your room right now? So, me and Junior, we, well, you know. So you two dimwits are cheating behind my back. Well duh, Blackie. Junie seems to love my beautiful pink hair, and curvy figure. He just couldn't stop staring at me all day. Whoa. What a woman. He told me that you were as flat as a pancake, how your hair is uneven, and green is his least favorite color. LOL. You fools better stop messing around. You know that Junior is my husband. I'm just being blunt, no need for you to be angry BP. And don't worry, it's not my usual horseplay, this is serious. How long has this been going on for? Well sugar, I've been in love with Junior ever since your wedding day. That's why I started making moves on him. I just don't get what the hell's your problem. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, Black Puddle. Can you save yourself the trouble and end things with Junior? Sooner or later, he would like to dump you anyways. So he's saying that he wants a divorce. And Bingo was your name oh. Junior and I have been seeing each other for almost two years. That's right, for the whole time you guys were married. I can't believe it. They're making a monkey out of me. The worst part was, they were having fun doing so. But don't you fret, I have an excellent paying job, and you know how wealthy RJ and his family is. So of course, the least we could do, is to compensate for your troubles. But it will be worth it in the end. That's not the point you bimbo. Darling, I may be a bimbo, but I'm much more attractive than you'll ever be. After all, I was voted prom queen twice back in high school, remember? On the other hand, you're the one who's fighting a losing battle, so do us both a favor and give up right now. I'm sure there are billions of other guys out there, who are willing to sweep you right off your feet. Ruby, have you any idea how ridiculous you sound? Oh my god BP, you know my motto, what someone else is is mine, and what's mine is also mine, especially when it comes to men. Shut the duck up, you pink-haired troublemaker. <laughs> Welp, 
It's been fun bragging to you, buddy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Wow, just freaking wow. Who does this stupid lady think she is? Of course, I blame the guy too. The next day, I confronted Junior about his lousy affair with Ruby. Instead of apologizing to me, the pea brain just laughed in my face, and made me feel like the worst wife he ever had. He's basically comparing me to that home wrecker. I'm telling you Sarah, I picked the wrong bestie to marry in the first place. The more he talked, the sooner I wanted to divorce that scummy himbo. Before we knew it, the divorce is officially finalized. The cheaters paid me tens of thousands of dollars in compensation. My marriage with my dream guy has completely tarnished, thanks to that scumbag, Pinky Toe. It was completely difficult to work in the same place with Junior, when I was emotionally fragile, so I decided to quit on my own volition. I lost my husband, my job, and my dignity, all at once. One day, I got a phone call from my ex-best friend. Long time no talk, Black Puddle. I thought I severed all ties with you. Hey. Don't say that. Anyways, I heard you quit the company you've been working with RJ, right? I just couldn't stand to keep working there like nothing happened, so what else was I supposed to do? So that means you're jobless now? Pardon the frankness, BTW. Actually no, I finally got my dream job as a county sheriff. Isn't it great? Oh, I see. Coming to think of it, you used to always say that you want to work for the law someday. Didn't know you have it in you. Now it's my turn to share. Me and Junior are getting married. Wow. Congratulations. Is that all? Then I'm hanging up now, goodbye. Wait, hold on, I'm not done. Ugh, there's more. We would like you to attend. WTF. We are best friends, right? BFFs. You must be sick in that GD head of yours. Come on sweetie, we've been BFF since daycare. I just don't have anybody but you. A best friend should attend their wedding, it's the natural thing to do. What do you two zeros know about common sense? Well first of all, I, Ruby Strand, am the number one babe in all of Pennsylvania. My victims are just jealous because they chose me over them, no matter how pretty they think they are. You are the main person I want to invite to my wedding. Well, is it because you've been making nothing but public enemies since forever? All that matters is that you're invited, so we're sending you the invitation via mail. Make sure you attend. Oh! And one more thing, I'm putting you in charge of preparing a speech. Holy, Mike loving, crap. I can't believe that incredibly selfish piece of human garbage. But wait, I can use this opportunity to get my revenge on not only Pinky Toe, but Junior as well. Wa ha 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 Hey! What's this we hear about you getting back at Ruby? Oh no, it's Sky Juice and Lavender Lollipops. Now now girls, it's not what it looks like, it's just that. Then count us in. What? That's right, we want to partake in your quest to destroy our witch of a sister. I'm Diamond, aka Sky Juice. And I'm Pearl, alias Lavender Lollipops. And this is our story of how much we loathe our good for nothing older sister, Pinky Toe. Ever since we were in nappies, she always had a knack for stealing our toys and goodies. Come on Ruby, give Pearl back her doll. No way. I don't see her name on it. What in Pennsylvania's name is wrong with you? Can't you see Pearl is hurt by your actions? I don't care. Like I told you guys a hundred times, I am the eldest, so what's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine, and if you have a problem, then you should just leave. What kind of sister are you? Why a a a a a a a a a a a a a she thinks that just because she's the eldest triplet of the Strand family, means that everything in this world belongs to her. As we grew older, she would often steal our brand new clothes, jewelry, shoes, snacks, and allowances. When we were in high school, I saw Pinky Toe locking lips with my first boyfriend, playing sword fights with their tongues. 
and of course, I was not amused with that. I screamed at the top of my lungs, and told them they were horrible horrible people. But unfortunately, they laughed in my face, and made fun of me for not being good enough for Gus. I've been depressed for months thanks to that betrayal. The same goes for Diamond with Keith. And that's how her reputation as the Pennsylvanian mistress was born. Our parents tried to talk her out of stealing from us for many years, but that was like talking to a brick wall. Instead, she sees it as an encouragement to take man-eating to the next level. After graduating high school, she had relationships with at least 100 guys, and all of them resulted in divorces and breakups. Her latest victim she stole from was her lifelong friend, Sarah Jackson. And the worst part was she's getting married to RJ, her ex-husband and boss. Of course, there's no freaking way we let her get a happily ever after, after all the misery and pain she bestowed upon us. So we, alongside Sarah, devised a plan to end Pinky Toe's reign of terror, once and for all. First, we video called a special guest on my computer. His name is Wilbert Hammer, but friends called him Willie. And he's the lieutenant of the police force. Ruby has been trying to seduce him for quite a while, and guess what? That's during her relationship with Junior. He opened up about it to me, sometime during the first week on the force. Just like me, he is just a pawn in Ruby's sick games. Those two timing termites asked me to attend her wedding as the maid of honor. Can you beat that? The maid, the freaking, honor. And, we were wondering if you're invited too. Yeah, I heard about the wedding, I didn't want to go. Wow, I see. Pinky Toe invited you too, Umbriago. And they demand you to do a speech for them? Ugh, the nerve of some people. We were planning on exposing those monsters. Are you with us? Oh, like getting back at Ruby? Just as I was letting things go, the Queen of Theft and Affairs had to invite me to her happiest day of her life. I bet she's doing this to piss me off, once again. But like we said, there's no way in the netherworld we would let her get her way anymore room for one more? Thought you never asked. But don't worry, we won't say your name, so you won't get kicked out of the force. Thanks Sarah, you're a real pal. Pinky Toe looked damn good in her pink wedding dress. And Junior looked pretty happy standing beside her. Looks like I definitely made the right choice of leaving Sarah for you. Then, I came out. As you can see, I'm wearing something you should never, ever, 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 wear to someone else's wedding. This is part one of my revenge plan. And now, it's time for my speech. Ahem. First off, thank you all for coming to this joyous occasion. As you can tell, my best friend, Ruby Strand, aka Pinky Toe, is a very glamorous fraud. She has always been the queen bee, who turns heads no matter where she goes. But she has an enormous knack for taking stuff that don't belong to her. But her favorite thing to steal, is another girl's partners. According to her, adultery is like a hobby. She thinks it's inevitable, just because she's the number one beauty of all of Pennsylvania. And you know what she always says to her victims? What's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine. And when she gets bored with one guy, she switches over to another, as long as he's spoken for and the cycle repeats itself. The reason why I'm telling you all this, is because I am one of her victims. In fact, I'm her latest victim she has stolen from, and that man she is marrying, yay, that's my ex-husband. Ah, uh, BP, I think that's enough. Like, who knows? There might be other targets of hers in this party as well. In fact, I'm going to call them right now. Okay ladies you can come in now. Suddenly, an army of Ruby's past victims stormed into the reception. What up Strand, long time no see. Wah, wah, what are you guys doing here? Oh, just congratulating our old friend for her marriage, that's all. Now that we're here, allow us to say a few words. My name is Summer Rotisserie, I am one of Ruby's colleagues. I remember the many times she dumped all her assignments just so she can steal Jordan away from me. 
My name is Maya Mogensen, one of Ruby's clients. I still haven't forgiven her for turning me and my husband against each other. Just so she could get her perfectly polished mitts on him. And I'm Peyton Bradley, I used to be buddies with her in middle school. But one time, I blindly opened up to her about my crush on Roger. As a result, two years later I saw them, hand and freaking hand, outside a cafe together. That's right, they were dating at the time. After the rest of the mob shared their stories about their victimhood. Unfortunately for you, it's not over yet. I have one more surprise for you. Suddenly, Diamond and Pearl burst into the wedding hall, wearing white dresses. Great to see you again. Big sis. Diamond and Pearl, not you guys too. Well, ain't it obvious? Anyways, my name is Diamond Strand, the younger sister of the bride. And I'm Pearl Strand, the youngest triplet sister of the bride. Since we were little girls, she has an unbreakable habit of stealing everything from us, from toys, to snacks, to clothes, to money, without a care in the world. And it was when we were teenagers, she started stealing our boyfriends. And it all escalated from there. Our parents told her to quit it, before she gets into heaps and heaps of serious trouble, but she never listened. And another thing, from what I heard, even while she was dating Junior, she tried to seduce another man, and the most bizarre part, it was an officer of the law. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, but it's true. She swapped contacts, to ask for advice about the groom. And then, she kept blowing up his phone, because she wants to meet him every day. She stated that if she wants, she would happily cheat on Junior with him, for he is more attractive. He also told us how sick and tired he was of you breaking into his pad, while he's at work, and finding you laying on the couch with your sleepwear on. Lies, all lies. Good thing he's smart enough to file a restraining order against her. And that is when she ran back to her groom. How could you, you pink-haired bimbo? You have any idea what you've done? RJ, don't think you have a bright future ahead of you either. What do you mean? Word has it, that you've been funding all your misadventures with Ruby. Using the company's dime. Gusps echoed through the room. Then, the CEO and his wife ran up to him like a charging bull, and started verbally and physically attacking his no-good son. Rexford, Thomas. Melvins, Jr. Cheating on your wife with her best friend is one thing, but embezzling from your father's company? What's wrong with you? I knew I shouldn't have trust a slimy rodent like you. Anyways, we still wish you two the best of luck, you're gonna need it. And with that, we wrapped up our revenge speech, and proudly strutted out of the party. Cheers! Cheers. To celebrate us finally standing up to the enemy, we all spent the rest of the evening at a famous nightclub that opened up across the street. The next morning, Ruby called me furiously. Sarah Bernice Jackson, how could you and my sisters ruin my wedding? Well, someone has to put you in your place. The whole town is glaring at me. We were just being frank, no need to get worked up about it PT. But, Junior has been chewed out by his parents even after you left you know. They were talking about demoting him to a janitorial position in order for him to pay for all the money he took. He'll get to work for free. The worst part was, when the CEO dies or retires, he willed everything, including the company to his sister and her family, while he gets nothing. How on God's green earth are you three going to pay for our ruined wedding? Wow dude, looks like he got what he deserved too. Well, none of this would have happened if you two barnacle brains hadn't invited us in the first place. Oh, let me rephrase that, if it weren't for you regretlessly stealing other women's significant others, and rubbing it in their faces, then you wouldn't have been in this predicament. Keep that thought to yourself. That was smooth of that dork for not seeing through a snake like you. As for me, my parents, as well as my extended family members severed all ties with me permanently. Ha ha ha, that's what you get for deliberately disobeying them too many times. This was all your fault. If I have known you could be that cruel, I wouldn't have befriended you. Well guess what babe, you made your bed, so, so sleep, sleep on, on it sis. sis. That's how it is for now, or most likely ever. Fare thee well, pinky toe, and have a nice life. And block.
Hey sweetie, who is that on the phone with you? Oh, just the ghost of friendship past. I may have lost Ruby as a best friend, but at least I have Diamond and Pearl to take her place. Did you know that Ruby and Ajay's registered their marriage before their wedding? He blames her for everything and he even kicked her out of his house. Our parents and the rest of the Strand clan permanently disowned her, and of course we did the same. So she has no other option but to skip town, but Lord knows where she's moving to. I'm just glad, Ruby is out of Pennsylvania's hair for good. As for Junior, like Ruby said, he did get demoted as a cleaner, in order to pay back for the money he took, and now he's back to living with his parents. Of course, as an officer myself, I put him on probation. So he's not allowed anywhere other than his house or work, for the indefinite period. After all they did to not only me, but the whole town. That was the least that they deserved. One and a half years later, me and the lieutenant started dating. Diamond and Pearl found a someone of their own, who was able to treasure them like the princesses they are. As soon as I got promoted to the leader of the county sheriffs. I now pronounce you men and wives. Me and the twins have gotten married at this same time. Our careers and private lives are better than we imagined, now that Ruby isn't here to steal our stuff anymore. Good, freaking, riddance.